Roll the storage cart to the side of the couch and use the brakes to make sure it is locked and cannot move. Use two two-pin bars to position the Sagittilt Prone Breast solution on the table. Move the couch to the same height as the storage cart in order to easily move the caudal part off the cart. Place the caudal part of the Sagittilt on the couch and place it over a two-pin bar. Then place the cranial part on the couch over the second two-pin bar. Connect the cranial and caudal part with the metal shaft. Then open the forehead support. Choose the left or right breast bridge depending on which side of the patient will be treated. Insert the front end of the bridge and close the forehead support again. Now rotate the Sagittilt 10 degrees to the left and 10 degrees to the right to make sure it is stable on the couch. Then place it back in the zero degree position. Place the hybrid hip mask in the water bath at a minimum of 65 degrees Celsius. Make sure the nano reinforcement layer is facing upwards. Assist the patient to find the correct and comfortable position on the prone breast system. Position the chin and ipsilateral breast first as the cutout and chin support are in a fixed position. Then adjust the movable supports in order to obtain the most comfortable position for the patient. The forehead support can be moved both vertically and longitudinally. Make sure the forehead of the patient rests comfortably on the support. There are two possible positions for the chin, either in the small cutout of the support or against the support. When adjusting the arm support, make sure that the shoulders are in a relaxed position and that the arms are not covering the ipsilateral breast. When adjusting the hand grips, verify that the patient is able to hold the hand support in a comfortable way. The position of the elbow support can be adjusted so that the shoulders are in a relaxed position. The foot support should support the ankles and lower legs of the patient. Verify that the ipsilateral breast drops down in the middle of the cutout and that it doesn't touch the chin support or the border of the cutout. Reposition the patient laterally while another person is looking in the mirror underneath the breast bridge to check if the sternum is positioned at the edge of the breast bridge. While repositioning the patient, pull the contralateral breast to the side of the board, away from the ipsilateral breast. Determine the correct position for the hip mask to cover the patient's pelvis. This will block the patient when you rotate the system. After the mask has been in the water bath for at least four minutes, take it out and remove the excess water by using a towel. Now place the mask over the hips of the patient, attach the profiles in the slots and secure them with the blue EVA handles. Pull the metal shaft backwards. This secures the position of the Sagittilt. Now you can perform the scan of the patient. Based on these images, the physician will determine if tilting the patient is necessary or not. If a tilt is necessary, a new scan must be taken. To tilt the patient, move the metal shaft forward again to connect both parts of the system. Now stand to the side of the patient, pull the two handles towards you and push the system in the desired angle. Pull the metal shaft backwards again and perform a new CT scan. When the scan is finished, mark the position of all the support structures in the patient's file. Leave the mask for a minimum of 10 minutes on the patient before removing it. Remove the foot support and lower the table. Pull the metal shaft backwards again so the Sagittilt stays in place when the patient is stepping off the system. 
now help the patient to step off the sagittilt tilt and store the sagittilt tilt again on the storage cart. Dismantle the system by opening the forehead support and taking out the breast bridge. Position the cranial and caudal part on the cart and slide them underneath the clamps to lock them.